what do you do when something goes wrong? Do you look for somebody or something to blame? Or do you step back and figure, hmm, what can I get out of this? Do I need to improve something? Or is there something I'm not supposed to do and the going wrong is protecting me from some kind of major problem? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Beerman, and I'm really, really glad that you came by to join us for a gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. I was going to share a different story with you today about things going wrong, but instead I'm going to entirely change everything because I already taped this whole gathering and it got lost just as I was finishing it up. So I thought, okay, I thought I was doing a gangbusters job, but apparently I need to do it differently to make it better. So. What happens to you when something goes wrong? Do you look outside of yourself and think it has nothing to do with you? Do you think maybe you're being punished for something that you did? Why do people think that way? Or do you look at what's missing that I could do better and I'm getting a chance to redo it? See, that's what I do. I lost four hours of writing last week finishing a book. And then I spent five days trying to format it because my computer wouldn't save every change that I made. I discovered I had an error in my book. And until I corrected that error, that formatting wasn't going to be changed because uploading an incorrect manuscript would have been embarrassing. So I figure something was awry in the gathering that I just taped for you. So here's the new one. Now, if you're on the ministry site, and you go up there, you'll see a page called Holy Space for. What is it in your life? Well, there isn't in your life right now. Go ahead and let us know. Just tell us down there. Maybe you want a new place to live, a new job, a new relationship. Maybe you want to go on vacation you don't know where to go. I don't know. Is there something that you'd like to have that you don't have now? Well, don't keep it a secret. Let us know. And then tell everybody that you know to come back here, and you do it too, at least once a week. Read every name and the item that's requested. Just take a moment to see that happening for the person. I know you don't know who the people are, or the universe does. So just see that the universe is creating the new home, or the new car, or the different relationship for the person. And all of us will do the same for you, because when one person's doing it all by yourself, you got a little thought from going out there, and you see the universe does respond. But what if you have a hundred or a thousand people also seeing that same reality for you? Then you got a big thought form, and the universe gets a message that says, Whoa, look at this. What's going on down there? See the danger when you're putting out a message all by yourself is you put it out, but then you might act in counter results to that particular end, so it can't happen. I really appreciate your clicking like and share, because people don't know we're here unless you let them know we're here. And the purpose of this ministry is to create a community. I did this because I couldn't find people of like mind in all the different places that I live. So I thought, on mine, you can see, you can join us at your time. You know, go up down below and leave a comment. Let's know what you want to know about. Go up to the Holy Space War page. Share your happy share. Oh, my happy share this week is the universe presented me with a classical guitar. And I haven't had a classical guitar in, I don't even remember how long. I've been playing electric. And some of my music just really, really wants to be playing on my own strings. So again, I'm so glad you came out. If you haven't already done so, get your gift over there. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this video before it disappears. Enjoy a wonderful week filled with really looking at things that might be going wrong and what you can do to improve them. Many, many blessings.